guys, my name is Elle, welcome back or welcome to my channel and today is a very exciting video, well, almost today. So the time is nearly midnight, which means that results day is upon us. So I sat my A-levels this year and I'll be getting three results, actually four results, three A-levels and my EPQ. Um, today I've been kind of chill had some moments of oh my god it's tomorrow to get into uni i need an a in maths and two b's in physics and fifth maths so realistically i need my a in maths so fingers crossed i've got it um <laughs> yeah so tomorrow's plan will look like getting my results first because my school opens earlier than ucas does so i'll kind of know at, at just one reaction like my grades and if I got into uni. So fingers crossed for me. Um, I've spent today watching Oppenheimer and that was quite fun but now I am ready for bed. At least try trying to go to bed so yeah see you guys tomorrow. That's annoying. UCAS has just crashed and I'm running late because it's eight now and I'm supposed to be at college and I thought, oh, I'll check my uni results. <sighs> I'm just gonna finish getting ready and get to college as soon as possible. <laughs> I am so, so happy. I'm gonna cry again. But I'm just opening some presents now. Hi guys, so it is a bit later now. Um, I've got my results, as you can see, and you already know what I got because I just blurted it out. But since then, I actually had a radio interview, so I'll play the radio clip now. It's results day. I'm joined by Ella. Good morning. Good morning. You must be so pleased today. Your results were what? Um, I got three A stars in maths, physics, fifth maths, and I also got an A star in my EPQ. That's why you've got a huge smile on your face. I know your parents are very proud of you. What will that mean for you now? What's next? Um, so I'm off to Cardiff Uni to study physics and I'm so excited to go. I just can't wait to get back into studying again. I really missed it this summer. You've obviously studied extremely hard to get what you've got today. And just for anyone listening right now, would you recommend college to anybody that wants to study? Definitely. The lecturers are so, so lovely and the student support team helped me so much throughout my time here. Well, huge congratulations. Thank you for joining us today. A-level results day. So that was kind of crazy. Uh, my mum also took a video of me doing said clip. You must be so pleased today. Your results were what? Um, I got three A-stars in maths, physics, and maths, and I also got an A-star in and I also had a film video clip, but I don't think it's been posted yet. But if I do find it later, I'll put it here. Um, after all of those, caught up with all my friends, really happy for everyone. We then had a celebratory spoons breakfast. <laughs> which I really enjoyed. And I got a call from Cardiff just confirming my place. So I was like, yay, it's confirmed. I've had a text, I've had an email, I've had a phone call. I've tried you, Cass. We're good, we're amazing. So I'm very happy about all of that, but I have a feeling you guys might be a little bit nosy. So I thought I'd break down all my exams because I personally find it quite interesting when other people do this, when they say like their raw marks and I'm also gonna say how many marks over a boundary I was, which is not to brag, it's just to kind of show that the boundaries are kind of low sometimes. So probably worked in my favor. So we'll see, I've worked it all out here. So if we start with maths, I got, in core, I got 109 out of 120, and to get an A star 
in this paper I needed 79 marks so I was 30 marks over the boundary for an A star. I've seen it for I got, which is like stats and mechanics, it's applied, I got 71 out of 80 which, and I needed 45 out of 80 so I was 26 marks over. So an actual kind of little fun thing is that I've technically got full marks in maths A level because in first year I got full UMS, in second year I've got full UMS again. So I got full marks in maths A level which is pretty good because it was the one I revised for the least. Which sounds awful, I know, but I just focused so much more on further maths, which I'll read out now. Now, this is the exam I am so, so proud of, right? Further maths unit four, I was terrified for it. You go back, watch my videos. I had a nightmare last year in with further maths core, but this year we went in, I tried my best. I only went and got 116 out of 120. I lost four marks on a further maths core paper. Excuse me? Four marks. And I needed 78 for an A star. So I was 38 marks over the boundary for an A star in further maths core. I'm sorry, what? My parents said I should have chose to do maths at uni, <laughs> but um, yeah. And then in stats, guys, you know I hate stats with that passion and fifth math stats I got 75 out of 80 which is 21 marks over the boundary for an A star. I didn't actually get full marks in fifth maths because of first year but in second year I got full marks in fifth maths in second year and I was so happy about that like that coming from first year where one exam I got a really low B in and it kind of messed up my fifth math score to get in full marks in second year. I worked so, so hard for further maths. It's, a, I think it's an achievement. Like I survived further maths A-level, which is arguably a very hard A-level. If we move on to physics now, so for physics unit three, this was one of my favorite all-time subjects. Um, I got 90 out of 100 on the paper, which is 16 marks over the boundary for an A-star. And in physics unit four, this one I kind, I say I messed up, but I struggled. I found it really hard. I had to focus so much energy. It was my last exam as well. And I got 82 out of 100. So like, not even that much lower. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was only eight marks over the boundary, but not gonna lie, don't care. The problem is, is that that physics unit four paper, I didn't get full UMS in. I was two marks off getting full UMS which means that I don't now have full UMS in physics, which is kind of a bit annoying, but we deal with it. I got no star. Who cares about the UMS? Secretly I do, but. <laughs> and then for unit five, which is lab work, I got 50 out of 50 on my lab work. Thank you so much to my teacher for, <laughs> for that. Um, I found labs all right. I always struggled with them. So I definitely have to work on that in uni, but I was six marks over the boundary because she needed 44 out of 50 and I got 50 out of 50. And then my EPQ. So in my initial reaction, I just reacted to my three A-levels, which are on this sheet but here. I did not notice that there is another sheet behind it with my EPQ grade on. So after my mum stopped filming, I went, oh, there's another sheet. And I went, oh, it's my BQ. Oh, I got an A star. And my mum was like, you what? And I was like, oh, I got an A star. Because EPQ was low-key my nemesis. And I got 90 out of 100. And guess what, guys? You needed 90 for an A star. Bag on the money I was. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very proud of that. Uh, maybe I'll do a video about how to get an A star in each of these subjects that I took. Don't know if you guys would be interested. I'm just so proud that it's done, which sounds very bad, but I am glad that I don't really have to think about A-levels again. Um, I've got this sheet of paper, I'm in uni. What more could I possibly want, you know? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
I am going out for a nice lunch later. I say lunch, it's going to be like an early dinner and then I'm going out for drinks with some of my friends tonight. So yeah, that'd be really nice. Thank you so, so much for joining me on my A-level journey. Um, it's been a roller coaster, not gonna lie, <laughs> but we have done it. Now, good luck to everyone else receiving results today and well done if you already know them. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.